The Australian Transport Safety Bureau is advising pilots, operators and maintainers of piston engine aircraft to take measures to detect the presence of and prevent the entry of carbon monoxide in aircraft cabins. The warnings, in the form of two safety advisory notices, come as the ATSB issues an update to its ongoing investigation into the collision with water of a DHC-2 Beaver float plane at Jerusalem Bay on the Hawkesbury River north of Sydney on the 31st of December 2017, in which the pilot and five passengers lost their lives. The ATSB has been able to conclude that pre-existing cracking of the accident aircraft engine exhaust collector ring likely resulted in exhaust leakage into the engine bay. Further, the ATSB determined it was likely that there was a breach in the firewall between the engine compartment and the cabin from missing bolts used to secure magneto access panels in the firewall under the instrument panel. Any breach in the firewall can allow the ingress of gases from the engine bay into the cabin. During the draft review process for the investigation's final report, the aviation medical specialist engaged by the ATSB recommended that carbon monoxide toxicology testing be undertaken on blood samples of the aircraft occupants. The results of the testing provided to the ATSB indicated that the pilot and two of the passengers had elevated levels of carbon monoxide. The confirmation that engine exhaust gases had the potential to exit the exhaust system in the engine bay and enter the aircraft's cabin and the elevated carbon monoxide levels in the pilot's blood identified during toxicology testing, which would likely have adversely affected the pilot's ability to control the aircraft during the flight, has prompted the ATSB to issue the two safety advisory notices to remind aircraft maintainers that the primary mechanism for the prevention of carbon monoxide exposure to aircraft occupants is to carry out regular inspections of aircraft exhaust systems to identify and repair holes and cracks and to detect breaches in the firewall. The ATSB is also highlighting the limitations of disposable carbon monoxide chemical spot detectors as are used commonly in general aviation and was fitted to the accident aircraft. Spot detectors have a limited shelf life can be affected by factors such as direct sunlight and cleaning chemicals and are passive, relying on pilots to regularly monitor them. In contrast, electronic active carbon monoxide detectors are designed to attract the pilot's attention through auditory and or visual alerts when carbon monoxide levels are elevated. These detectors are now inexpensive and widely available. The safety advisory notices can be downloaded from the ATSB's website the Civil Aviation Safety Authority has also published an airworthiness bulletin to highlight the risks and dangers of carbon monoxide poisoning. CASA's airworthiness bulletin can be found on its website by searching AWB 02-064.